Welcome to Fine Art at Home. I'm Mike Vines. In this video segment, we're going to be discussing a 17th century etching by the Italian Baroque painter Salvador Rosa. Uh, this etching is titled Two Warriors and it was completed in 1657. I acquired this print online from a print dealer that's no longer in business. Uh, this was a description of the uh, work. Salvador Rosa, Two Warriors, 1657, etching with dry point, five and a half inches by three and three quarter inches on medium laid paper. Margins as shown, third state of three, with Rosa's rework of the left foot of the seated soldier. A relatively early 17th century impression, the dry point still strong and bold. Uh, this is in reference to Wallace, 44, which is a scholarly work on Salvador Rosa. When I first viewed this work online, I was struck with the similarity of etching styles between Rosa and the two Rembrandt restrikes that I own. They were contemporaries and exchanged their work with each other from what I've read. I get a laugh out of visualizing these two giants in the art world exchanging artworks together like we exchange snapshots. I think it was the expression of emotion uh, you could see in these warriors' faces that uh, attracted me to it. How skillfully Rosa is able to convey that expression of emotion through the skill of his own hand, uh, very similar to the feeling I get when I view these, these Rembrandt restrikes of the two men. I'm still awestruck whenever I view this piece, and I enjoy the simple routine of removing it from its protective sleeve and holding it in my gloved fingers while looking closely at its fine detail under a bright light. This is also a prime example of fine art that can be gotten at realistic prices, and there's nothing like owning original fine art. To hold and closely examine a lifetime etching in your own hands that was personally produced by the artist some 350 years ago is both astounding and gratifying. As much as I love this little piece that comes from a 64 etching series known as the figurines, it doesn't come close to the mastery of some of his other etchings, such as Democritus and Meditation or Rescue of the Infant Oedipus. These beautifully detailed allegorical works not only illustrate Rosa's talent as a fine etcher, but also gives us a good glimpse into his renowned character. Here's a short biography taken from the Web Gallery of Art. Salvador Rosa was an Italian Baroque painter and etcher of the Neapolitan School, remembered for his wildly romantic or sublime landscapes, marine paintings, and battle pictures. He was also an accomplished poet, satirist, actor, and musician. Rosa studied painting in Naples, coming under the influence of the Spanish painter and engraver Jose de Rivera. Rosa went to Rome in 1635 to study, but he soon contracted malaria. He returned to Naples, where he painted numerous battle and marine pictures and developed his peculiar style of landscapes, picturesquely wild scenes of nature with shepherds, seamen, soldiers, or bandits, the whole infused with a romantic poetic quality. His reputation as a painter preceded his return to Rome in 1639. Already famous as an artist, he also became a popular comic actor. During the carnival of 1639, he rashly satirized the famous architect and sculptor Gian Lorenzo Bernini, thereby making a powerful enemy. For some years thereafter, the environment of Florence was more comfortable for him than that of Rome. In Florence, he enjoyed the patronage of Cardinal Giovanni Carlo di Medici. Rosa's own house became a center of a literary, musical, and artistic circle called the Accademia di Piccosi. Here, Rosa's flamboyant personality found expression in acting. In 1649, he returned and finally settled in Rome. Rosa, who had regarded his landscapes more as recreation than as serious art, now turned largely to religious and historical painting. In 1660, he began etching and completed a number of successful prints. His satires were posthumously published in 1710. You'll also find a wealth of sources on the internet, including eBay. 
I was fortunate years ago to find an online dealer that stocks some incredible works of art uh, at very good prices. I did business with him for several years until he closed shop. But there are still some online that you can find that are available. I will have links on the website to those. You have to be careful about forgery. Forgery is big business. Uh, so you should put your initial trust into a known and reputable dealer. If you're buying on eBay, you may want to stay with a reputable dealer there, more or less in the lines of Sotheby Auctions and Christie Auctions. You'll pay a little bit more for them that way, but you'll know that they'll be authentic. You'll find owning original art is greatly rewarding and well worth your efforts. Consider it a lifetime investment, and please don't forget to look at it now and then.